welcome to my youtube channel and my name is Arslan Karim so in today's lecture we will, we will be discussing a, how to run a 3 phase inverter or a variable frequency drive using peak 18452 as a controller so before starting the video and its lecture I am please uh, subscribe the channel uh, and if you like the stuff you can also click that like button at the end of the video so before starting let me just explain you that um, what this whole circuit is basically do so this is the circuit is that we are going to use is basically a variable frequency drive a variable frequency drive is such a drive which is used to control the speed of a motor like as you can vary the frequency so by varying the frequency you are basically control controlling the speed of the motor so that specific motor can be used to control the flow or control anything or like control the speed of a belt or any other stuff so it's depending the, upon the kind of of motor that you are using and the kind of purpose that you are using it for so the main thing uh, or the heart over here is basically this IC so this in this one is a this one is a big one eight f four five two controller so we, you can also use Arduino or UNA controller or STM thirty two four f four depending upon your need so in my case we are using big one eight f four five two as a controller so this controller what does it do it is basically connected to three main things the first one is the LCD just for a human display source like to just to don't display what's going on and the second thing is a control pad which is also a HI and so this from this it is a forecast for keypads which will be using to give inputs to the controller so that we can use the speed and control the speed of the motor and this one is a AND gate so it what it does it's basically a multiply or you can say it's basically AND gate the input pulses and give the output uh, at the output side so we are giving four pulses the one the first three pulses what it does it is basically from 0 to 120 then 120 to 240 and then third one is from 240 to 360 and the fourth one is basically is the PWG pulse so which basically control the duty cycle of all the other pulses and after that we will get three pulses at this point like uh, at this point this point and at this point and after that we are basically making six pulses so we are giving two pulses to each IC and these ICs are one uh, ER2110 or you can use ER2112 both are almost same so you both are depends upon the kind of MOSFETs or RGB that are, you are going to use so and the first thing is over here so it is a basically AC to DC converter that we will be what we will be doing is we will be converting a single phase AC into DC then again converting that DC back into three phase AC so that we can get um, the three phase supply and to control its frequency to control the speed of the motor so what we are doing here is we are giving main AC over here and after passing this uh, H bridge uh, it's giving us a DC at that point which is a pulse rating DC this LED is for the indication that we are getting the supply and at this capacitor is for the filtering purpose and in this resistor will act as a discharge path for this capacitor to discharge it as if we turn on the sub turn off the power supply and this is a meter that will display the amount of voltages at uh, the output so normally we will get 318 or 320 volts if we are providing 220 to 230 volt AC so this one is the LCD which is a 16 cross 2 LCD so it will have 16 columns uh, so it will have two rows and 16 columns so it's a very simple LC LCD that mostly use this you know, resistor over here is a variable resistor that is being used for to control the, dis the brightness of the LCD so uh, it will display the data on the LCD and uh, like if we discuss this circuit over here so this is the driver circuit so it is the same for all the phases 
so driver circuit is what does what it does do it's basically convert your plus 5 volt signal to plus 12 volt plus 18 volt or plus 20 volt so as we know that your portable one zero is basically operates from plus 12 volt to 220 volt so you can give any amount of voltages between 12 volt or 10 volt to 20 volts it will give the approximate or the appropriate WMS at the output. So it depends upon the kind of MOSFETs or IGBT that we are going to use. In the circuit, we will be using IGBT, so you can use MOSFETs as well. It will also work for both circuits. So and this one over here is for the filtering purposes and this one is the bootstrap capacitors these both one are bootstrap capacitor this diode is for the forward bias purposes and it will stop in case of reverse bias and this one is a simple resistor and this one is a you can see a zener diode which is connected over here so it will give uh, pass the pulse uh, of plus 12 if we are giving plus 12 volts and we want and we have added a plus 12 volts in there then it will Cut the PWMs at plus 12 volts. If we give plus 16 volts, even then it will cut the PWM at 12 volts. So it's just a for that purposes. And after that, it disconnected to that IGBT. This is a discharge path. So IGBT is basically acting as a capacitor, as we know. So it will, if you charge it, it will remain charged. And um, to discharge the IGBT or MOSFET, we have to give him a discharge path. So I have added a 10k resistor at this point. So we are giving six pulses we are getting three outputs each output for their respective phase so after i'm filtering from these capacitors we are getting the output at these points and uh, we are also displaying it on the oscilloscope as well as we are running a three phase motor so mm -hmm. let's just don't waste any further time and let's run the simulation okay so here you can see the pure sine waves let's just give him a minute so that it adjusted so if you just give a little look at this point so as you can see the motor is running slowly so it will start uh, running slowly but as the laptop that I am going to use it's a little bit slow one so that's why a simulation is not running in real time due to excessive CPU load so you can clear it out so if you are using some good one like the core i5 or core i7 then the results will be very clear and fast so in my case it's not that one so over here as you can see it's a pure sine wave for each pulses it's and it's getting so this one is a set value the set value is the set uh, rpm that you have set like in my case i have set the 900 rpms so feedback is also given so as i haven't added the feedback yet so i'll uh, in the next video i'll also add a feedback so that you can see that the set value and the feedback value will be approximately same so this is for the today's video and if you like the video then please like share and subscribe and for more videos stay tuned thank you take care bye